Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today is the day for the monthly cookbook collab that is hosted by Southern Wife Everyday Life. Her name is actually Tamara. And um, at least I hope I'm saying that right. She's never said I didn't. So um, anyway, today is the day for that. And I'm going to be cooking a recipe that is meatless, which is very odd for me. But that is what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be a three cheese manicotti from the Food Nanny's first cookbook. I believe it's her first anyway. So I will show you the cookbook in just a few moments. But first, I wanted to tell you guys about something else that I've been doing. This is not a sponsored video, but I did get a free product to try and share with you guys. And I got it from Simply Cool Things. They are a shop on Amazon. They've been talking to me for a few months and wanted me to try out some kitchen gadgets. And I'm like, I love kitchen gadgets. Okay, I'll do it. And I got them in the mail today. And today's the day I was going to be filming this. So I thought, what better time to do this than now? So I decided to add it to this video. So I'm going to open up the package. So it's an unboxing, unbagging, undoing. <laughs> so, like I said, it's from Simply Cool Things, and it's a very simple box. It's just a simple box, and um, you can probably hear that it's wooden. Stop. Read this first. Thank you for buying from us. Oh, this is like a 10% discount. Register your product. Okay. Not going to be doing that because I mean I got them free I don't know anyways what it is is a wooden utensil set from simply cool things and I love wooden tools because they if they're taken care of properly they last for years there are some things for wooden utensils that you need to know one you don't need to put them in a dishwasher because it can ruin them you need to always hand wash them. You don't want to really cook things that you're going to have to soak this to get it clean. At least that's my thoughts. Because if you have to soak this in water for a very, very long time, it's going to end up messing it up. It'll just dry it out. It'll ruin it. Yes, water dries things out. It's really crazy. That's why you don't want to take long showers. But anyways, there is this little spoon not little but it's a serving spoon um and then this one with this the holes in it they're a little bit dusty this kind of spatula type thing that's fun then this spoon it's shaped a little differently with a little bit deeper it's a little deeper there and then this one i think these two are the ones for like you can do your salads is what it showed on the thing but anyway it's more like a fork it's a spork so anyway i'm gonna wash those up and i'll be using them today and i'll tell you if i like them or not because that's all they asked me to do is to tell you about them i won't be using all of them but i will be using i know the spoon one of the spoons they're not super long but they're nice they are they're kind of rustic looking they don't look perfect and that's one thing that I liked about them when I saw them um, they don't look perfect they look rustic they look handmade almost so um, I can't remember if they're bamboo but I think they are I'll let you know there's no paperwork in here other than this but let's get cooking I'm going to show you that cookbook and then we're gonna get cooking after I wash these. Hand wash, don't ever put your wooden utensils in a dishwasher. It totally ruins them. I know that people do it all the time, but they don't have as long of a life if you do that. They just don't. You wash them, you dry them, you leave them, you know, like that. You don't wanna let them soak in water for a long time. You, it just ruins them. You won't, they won't last as long. They'll start like splitting and things like that at least that's my experience and after I experienced that 
I started looking up things because I know that some people said, well, I've had this wooden spoon for blah, 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 a hundred years. Not really a hundred, but still. Cast iron can last that long though. Wooden spoon might, don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna quit talking now and then I'll start talking again in a little bit. Okay, so this is the cookbook. It is the Food Nanny Rescues Dinner. I think I just crossed my eyes while doing that. Sorry. Anyways, as you can see, I have them little tabs everywhere because there's several different recipes I want to try in this book. But today, which there's no picture, so I can't show you that part. But um, because I can't, I, I don't know what it's supposed to look like when it's done. So that's okay. It'll look good either way. Anyway, it's the it's an Italian three cheese manicotti. I won't be giving you the exact recipe, but I will be leaving a link for this book down below. I bought it off of Amazon, I do believe. You can buy it from her website. Um, she has a new one that is the Food Nanny Rescues Dinner again, or it's newer than this one. Uh, it's quite expensive because it's hard to find, but you can find it on her website as well. But anyway, I will link, here's the things I'll link. I will link Tamara's channel. I will link the playlist for this wonderful collab. I will link this book and I will link the spoon set. That way, I've got that part out of the way. Now we can do the fun part. We can cook dinner for my family. This is a thing that I've made before. I've made this before, but not her recipe. I've made this before using my recipe that I have used for years for making my own sauce. I have used um, just regular jarred sauce, but I've never used her recipe, so I, I think it's gonna be fun to do that. Now I just gotta get me one of those little doodads to hold my book up, or hold, hold it open. So, let's get going. I think this is gonna be good. I think it's gonna be really good, but the sauce does take a little while. You have to cook it for 45 minutes. Uh, after you get everything going good, you have to simmer it for 45 minutes. So make sure you give yourself plenty of time to cook this meal. It's not a quick, quick one. But I did want to tell you about this. You can make this beforehand. I don't know if you can freeze it. I'm pretty sure you could, but she does not say you can. In my experience, I have frozen different pasta dishes. I have frozen lasagnas and things, and this has a lot of the same ingredients as lasagna, and they were just fine. But she does say you can do this ahead. This dish can be made ahead of time, refrigerate until ready to bake, lower the oven temperature 25 degrees, and add an extra 15 minutes to the baking time. That is how you would do it ahead of time you can do it like 24 hours ahead of time so say you're doing a meal prep on Sunday and you want to cook it on Monday there you go quick meal that you just throw in the oven so I'm gonna st stop talking again and get all my stuff and wash my cans because you gotta have canned things and I am taking a couple shortcuts you'll I'll tell you what those are and I'm gonna get started on the cooking this is what you're here for right the cooking. So stop talking and let's do it. Okay, so this is the ingredients for the sauce and then of course that's the man manicotti. This is the only kind I could find and I could only find it at Publix where Noah works. So got those and we need onion, bay leaves, thyme, oregano, garlic. This is one way that I'm taking a little bit of a shortcut because I'm using this already minced. A little sugar, salt, and I think the sugar is to cut the acidity because I've been doing research about how to help heartburn. And that's one of the things you can do is add sugar to your tomato dishes or add baking soda. So tomato sauce, which this is too much, but I think I'm gonna just go ahead and use it all anyway. And this is the other shortcut. You're supposed to use diced tomatoes, but you're supposed to take those diced tomatoes and all the liquid, put it in a blender and crush it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shortcut and use crushed tomatoes. So this is what I need along with this and one of my trusted spoons. 
and I'm gonna get started in what am I doing I'm not filming correctly I'm gonna get started with cooking y'all that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna set y'all up and hopefully it won't get all foggy oh and it also calls for canola oil I don't really like canola oil sorry so I'm gonna use olive oil and yeah I'm doing that I'm not using canola sorry sorry I mean I'm not saying I don't have it in my house I just don't use it on a regular I only have it because Jeff wanted it. Okay, so I know I'm going to run into an issue because this is the only big pot I have. So, what I'm probably going to end up doing is cooking the sauce in here. And uh, then the noodles, I'll just have to do something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I always do. But this is the only big pot I have. I need two of this size. But then again... I rarely ever need two of this size. You know what I'm saying? So, I hope I'm in frame really good. I don't usually cook over here like this, but we will see how it works out. So, as I said, I'm using olive oil instead of the canola. It calls for quite a bit of oil. I'm not going to put as much as it calls for just because. And the reason why is just because I feel like it's too much. But if I see this is needing a little bit more, I'll put more in. So I'm going to let that get a little bit warmer. And then I'm going to put the onion and garlic in. Okay, so I'm going to get the onion in the pot. Uh, for a minute, I thought it was, or for a second, not a minute. Uh, I thought it wasn't, you know, doing it yet. Now, I did cut up too much onion. What I showed you was too much. So I did take part of that and put it in the refrigerator for later meals. <laughs> so I'm doing a little meal prep today, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and get the onion going. And I'm going to get the garlic in there. It's supposed to be two cloves. I'm guesstimating. That's Jeff's word. You like it? At least that's where I got it from is from him so I'm gonna let these cook some it smells good already so you cook these until they're softened but not browned so you gotta watch them because they'll go fast especially the garlic okay so I think this is about the point where that it needs to be and now I'm going to add everything else. The sugar, the salt, the oregano, bay leaves, thyme leaves, tomato sauce, and the tomatoes. ahead and the rest of this I'm just gonna put it in the freezer and label it like put it in, a, in something and label it in the freezer because I really don't want to change the recipe too much and I've well actually the only thing I've changed so far is uh, the oil so I don't want to change the flavor and I know that it's just a little bit more tomato but that's okay I'm not gonna do that So now I'm gonna bring this to a simmer and I'm just gonna let it simmer for 45 minutes and then I will start the rest of the stuff. I will come over and check it. I will, you know, stir it a little. I always tend my stews, you know. <laughs> I always make sure you're watching your pot. I mean, not like stalking it or anything, but. All right, I'm gonna let that cook and I will be back. 
So far I like this spoon. Okay, so this is 45 minutes later. It has thickened some. It smells delicious. And I'm gonna take it off the heat. And one thing that it says is if it's too thick, you can add water. I don't think mine's too thick. I don't like really thin sauce. And this just looks like the perfect thickness to me. So I'm leaving it like it is because I like it. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is take the bay leaves out. I've gotta fish those out. And usually I can do that pretty well with soups and things by flip-flopping it around a little. No, I didn't put it on the counter. I put it on the little resting spoon thingy, spoon rest, that's what it's called. All right, so I'm gonna get the other one out if I can find it. And then, oh, that's an onion, whoops. What I'm going to do, since I only have one of these pans, is I'm gonna put the sauce into a glass bowl because it's heat safe, it's fine. And I'm just gonna stick it on the back of the stove top and then uh, I can wash this pan and use it for the pasta because I can do that. <laughs> so let me get this into a glass bowl and get this washed up and then I will show you what I'm doing next. Okay, so I have my pan washed and I've got the water in there. Ooh, I flipped y'all around really fast and I hope that didn't make you sick and dizzy and stuff. So anyway, I got it in here, letting it get to boil. You got to boil your water before you put your pasta in. Um, letting it to get to the boiling point. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to the water. And then this is my sauce. I've got a bowl here. I've got to pull out my cheeses and my eggs. I've got parsley. I did not remember to get fresh parsley, so I'm just gonna use this. It looks really fresh. Um, so I'm gonna use that. And here's my nine by 13. And it says to use aluminum foil. And I had forgotten that I had this non-stick foil. So I pulled it out and I'm gonna use it because there's something I've gotta do with the foil before I cover this with it. So I'll show y'all that, but let me grab the cheese real quick. And maybe by the time I get all that stuff out in my spoon and all my measuring utensils, then I will have that hot enough. I've got to get a colander too. So let me grab everything. Okay, so I'm going to just tell you as I go what I'm putting in. Um, but I'm going to tell you real quick what I have. I have some ricotta cheese, two eggs, salt, pepper, mozzarella now it says to use the uh crushed or whatever what is it called let me see grated parmesan this is shredded i'm gonna use it and then it says fresh parsley but that's what i've got so that's what i'm using so let's put everything together but first i'm gonna do the eggs and since i'm going to be using all of this ricotta i'm just gonna stick my egg shells onto that. Oh, you're not supposed to go in there. And I'm gonna wash my hands real quick and throw this away. Or throw this away and then wash my hands. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this together real quick just to, just to get it a little bit done. It'll get better once I have everything mixed together, but I kinda wanna get it a little bit incorporated together. All right, I'm gonna put my ricotta in. Well, look at that. <laughs> I may need to get something other than this spatula to stir with, but I don't know. I'm just gonna kinda cut it up just a tiny bit just a touch. It'll get better as you go. Okay, get that in there. A little salt. Pepper. 
pepper. Pepper is pretty much to taste, and we love the taste of pepper. So we, you know, do our thing with the pepper. All right, and it's supposed to be quite a bit of parsley, but I'm not gonna put as much because this is not dried. I mean, no, this is not fresh, and dried parsley is stronger than fresh. So, did I say that right? Dried is stronger than fresh, so I'm not gonna put as much because it is dried, but it's fine. It's gonna be good either way, and I'm gonna kind of incorporate that a little bit to get that cheese a little bit broken up before I start putting the other two cheeses in because I just feel like it'd be the best thing to do, honestly. I just do. Okay, so I'm gonna put in the Parmesan cheese. Oh, I dropped a little bit on the countertop, which is fine. And then I'm going to put, let me stop right on the back. I'm gonna put half the amount in here and the other half I leave out. You'll see why which I didn't tell y'all the amount, so it really doesn't matter, does it? I will have to take that back out, but I just don't like things sitting out if it's supposed to be cold. I just don't like to. All right, so that's the filling right there. Those few ingredients. And what I'm going to do, because I don't like dealing with trying to shove this into a little manicotti shell, the little tube, I'm gonna put it into a Ziploc bag, and then I'm gonna clip the end and use it as a popping bag. So I'm gonna get that done real quick, and I'll be right back. I thought you guys might like to see how I do this. I haven't done it in a while, but I'm gonna try to show you. You put it on a wide mouth mason jar or a big cup that's heavy on the bottom so it doesn't fall over. And first I probably should be using a spoon and not a spatula, <laughs> but that's okay. but I put it in as far down as I can. Maybe I can just scooch it in now. I wanted to use the spatula so I could get every single bit out of the um, bowl. Don't wanna waste any of this goodness. Especially with the prices nowadays. I mean, I know everybody's talking about it, but y'all you people that had to feed your family you know you know the ones that are out buying the groceries you know all right so i get all that on there or in there and i lift the jar or the bag out of the jar and it's heavy enough that it's gonna kind of fall down and now all I have to do whenever I'm ready to pipe it is make sure that's sealed very well snip off the end however much I want and you'll see the rest in a few moments okay I have cooked and rinsed my manicotti in under cold water and what it says to do is to put them on your aluminum foil that you're going to be using on the top of your pan just stick these on there. Some of these have 
broken and it wasn't because I was rough with them it they just broke that's one reason I don't like doing this and I would rather just do the stuffed shells because stuffed shells are open <laughs> a little bit better but that's okay because I just thought this would be good and if I don't like doing it with this type of noodle I can always do the same stuff with the stuff sh the shells you know what I'm saying just try things try new things and it also does say that if any of them break the way some of these did all you have to do is just put that part on the bottom and it'll still be beautiful okay so I'm gonna put my pan over here that I'm gonna be using it does not say to spray it or anything it doesn't say anything about spraying it so I'm not gonna spray it which that's what I would normally do but I'm not going to but I do have to put half of this into here which is still hot so of course be super careful whenever you're doing something like this because you do not want to burn yourself and I think that's about half let me I just got me a piece of saran wrap to put down here for in case I make a mess I could have gotten a um what do you call it paper plate or a regular plate or whatever but I just decided to get this all right what I'm gonna do is scooch some of that over so that I can snip off that corner why am I doing this with my left hand because I'm crazy and hopefully I don't have too big of a piece <laughs> to cut off but what I'm gonna do now I think I did make too big of a hole but that's okay I'll make it work um, is I'm gonna just squeeze that in nope it's not gonna work because I cut too big of a hole oh boy how am I gonna get that in there then this is the what I hate about this um let me try it from the other end and try to open that up a little bit more I cut the hole too big and you have to go kind of slowly that's okay it's gonna be all right I just have to get it all the way in on both sides and then I'm gonna stick this in here I think I'm gonna go this way I don't know which way I'm supposed to go but let me try again with this one I think I should have made a smaller hole for this to go in I could do it with a spoon but I really just didn't want to because it takes so much more time I've done this before and it worked fine but it's not gonna work this time all right so we're gonna use our good old-fashioned hands because why not I'm not gonna do that with all of them though I can't I can't stand here and do this with all of them <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is just grab another bag and start over but it is working it's just messy and that's what I was trying to avoid all right so I'm going to wash my hands and see what I can do about this Okay, so I've got another bag and I made the hole smaller and it's working exactly as planned. Okay, so we're gonna get all of these filled up and then I'm gonna show you what to do next.
All right, they're all filled. Seems like a lot of sauce, but it says to pour remaining sauce onto this. And as you can see, hopefully <laughs> you can see it, that sauce is still hot. I mean, it's not like burning up, like gonna scald you to death kind of thing. That was a horrible thing to say. Um, it's not like extremely hot, but it, it, it will burn you. It's smoking. So you cover that up completely because those noodles are not completely done. You put the rest of the cheese, the mozzarella on there. you had and you bake it for 30 minutes and I'll be back when it's done okay so this is what it looks like out of the oven it's been about 40 minutes because I was actually waiting on Noah to get home and I had a little extra time um, but I'm a little bit concerned because the middle doesn't look like the uh shells plumped up as much so i don't know if they're actually done um i think they are they should be but i don't know i've never cooked this before so i'm gonna get noah some i'm gonna kind of turn this around i put the wrong one on the wrong hand i'm gonna kind of turn this around so because i know that the way i have them facing <laughs> and we'll see if i can get one out oh that's done that's definitely done but i'm gonna let him try them noah do you want to be on video or not because you know you're like in work clothes no okay i didn't think so uh come tell me how much you want baby you don't have to be on video other than your voice will be but a little, bit more. A little more all right all right it's a lot of sauce. It's a whole lot of sauce. And some of the insides come out of that one. All right, so that is a ton of sauce. He's gonna try his, and I'm gonna just try mine for y'all. But uh, I'm gonna get me some, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got me some. I just got a small plate, but that's what it looks like on the inside, if y'all can see that smoking hot I just tasted the sauce a little it was pretty good um, it smells good but there's a lot of sauce with this we don't usually eat this much sauce whenever we eat something so I don't know yet but my brain is saying that's more sauce than you need <laughs> and you should have doubled the noodles kind of thing you know but it is a lot of sauce have you tasted it, Noah? Thought? He said this. So, he likes it. And he's got a pretty good palate. He, he, he'll he tell you if he doesn't like something. Especially whenever it's something that we've never tried before. He'll tell me, this is not something I want again. Or, yeah, let's do this again. Or, eh, let's change this or that. He's really good at helping with that. Um, Because he just, he doesn't want me to cook something that I've, that he doesn't like you know he doesn't want me to cook something over and over again that he really hates and Noah is the type of person who will eat it anyway because you've worked hard on it he's just that kind of person he's really nice so I'm gonna taste it I'm kind of procrastinating because I'm letting it cool off so I guess while I'm procrastinating I will go ahead and again show you the book food nanny rescue the food nanny rescues dinner um, I will link it down below um, I want to thank um, Simply Cool Things for sending me the gadgets, the little wooden tools. They're really neat. And also, they did not stain from this pasta sauce. That's one reason I wanted to use it today. And especially thank Tamara for 
doing this collab. She's doing it all year. I honestly did not think she was going to do it as early as she did. And I'm really just enjoying learning about new channels, finding new recipes, seeing things that different people cook from different places. And um, I actually just finished watching one of her videos that she put out today. It was her crock pot video. She loves some crock pots. She's got lots of them and she can cook a lot of things in them <laughs> so um go check out her channel everything will be linked down below for everything that i said and now i'm gonna try it and then i'll close out the video and then i will eat my dinner <laughs> and i didn't make anything else with it i should have probably done that but i didn't but let's see what would think and really the 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 filling is very similar to what I use whenever I am making uh, lasagna. I mean, it's almost exactly like the way I do lasagna, except instead of only putting parsley, I usually put like Italian seasoning. But the sauce is the thing that's different. It's the thing that that we really made. You know, it's the, the sauce is... Um, what we did from scratch and yes i'm still procrastinating because it's still hot so let's let's see that's pretty good um i've never had pasta sauce that tastes like that before usually it has basil in it but this one's pretty good. I've never had, I've never made pasta sauce with bay leaf. I don't know if I've said that before or if I said it earlier. I'd make this again for sure. It's good. So, um, if I can find her recipe, because she does have a blog, if I can find the recipe, for this I'll link it down below but she has so many good recipes in her book I mean this one I don't know about the other one I want the other one but I haven't gotten it yet she has a lot of different recipes in here and not only does she have recipes like she has them themed as well as uh, just having good recipes but um let me see she has like comfort food Italian night fish and meatless Mexican night, pizza night, grill night, family traditions. But she has a meal planning uh, guide in here. She's got things, tips about shopping, portion sizes, uh, about budgeting, table manners, talking uh, about different things um, that you might want to look at. And then she's got little things like, yes, but the 10 most common excuses for not cooking like the first one is i don't know how to cook i'm not good at it and then she gives you some different things and there's just bunches of bunches of things about all kinds of tips and tricks how to follow recipes and she's got all kinds of pictures of her family it's a very good cookbook lots of yummy recipes so like i said i'll link it down below i will link it the way I got it was Amazon and that was the best price that I could find so that's the way I'll link it and I'm gonna go for now because I want to eat this it is it's not gonna get cold anytime soon <laughs> but I still want to go because I've talked long enough thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today for watching me cook this meal and um, if you like this go ahead and hit the like button if you like my channel go ahead and subscribe hit the bell so be notified when I upload leave me a comment down below have you ever heard of the food nanny I heard about her because of um, who was it she's in her apron Kimmy uh, Kimmy Hughes I think it's her last name I heard about her from there and yeah this is a really good dish so if you at least want one good dish go ahead and grab that book and i'll see you next time thank you again for watching and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet